Therefore, for Army Recognition Editorial Team at Eurosat 3 2016, the International Defense and Security Exhibition in Paris, France. Today, we continue looking at the international highlights of the show. There is more than 60 countries from all over the world. We have uh, a couple of uh, static exhibits here uh, to start out with the first one you see in the background that's the Leopard 2 main battle tank. In the configuration uh, the German Bundeswehr will possibly procure from 2018 on. It's a Leopard 2 A7 um, which incorporates all the experiences our customers have drawn from missions like ISAF in Afghanistan. Um, which has a couple of uh, new developments incorporated. Um, the next one uh, you see in the background is the remote-controlled howitzer on a boxer chassis, um, which might be able to close a capability gap um, uh, in, in NATO's defense, um, as it is very mobile. Uh, the Boxer is a modular construction. You can change the mission modules, like for example the automatic gun module, very quickly against something else. It can be deployed very quickly. And of course the 155 millimeter gun um, has a lot of firepower. And it does not need to be operated uh, by a huge crew. It's just a crew of two. It's the driver and the commander uh, who is uh, in charge of the, uh, of the artillery uh, module. One of the new products presented by KMW at Eurosat 3 2016 is the SUV, a special operation vehicle which includes a new model system for special forces. The vehicle is fitted with a 12.7 mm machine gun on the top of the vehicle. This is an, an open top vehicle. It can carry a total of three to six soldiers depending on the mission. Dingo Do HD is the new generation of Dingo Do family with more payload, more power and more protection. The Dingo 2 HD is considered the safest and best protected wheel vehicle of its class. Its innovative safety concept provides its crew with the highest protection level against anti-tank and anti-personal mines, IEDs, gunfire as well as splinters from artillery and mortar shell. In addition, the Dingo 2 offers protection against NBC warfare agents. Another product presented by Crosswaffe Wegman at Eurostory 2016 is the FLW 500, a remote leak weapon station which can be armored with a 12.7 mm machine gun of a 7.62 mm machine gun. In option, the turret can be fitted with anti-tank guided missile and it has a maximum weight of 500 kilos. Why are we bringing so many vehicles? We have 13 vehicles in the stand and we have two vehicles in live demonstration. For us, exhibition it is as a test. Whatever we achieve in two years in R&D, in our designs, we are bringing to the show to the client. For us, our company is different. We are asking, what would you like to see it? What would you like to use? What can help you in your missions? What can help you to resolve the issues in the country, internal or external? So every client comes to the booth, we ask him how is the vehicle, what else we need to improve and so on. That's why variety of that is here. The Gladiator is APC and the Scorpio is the MRAP. One is the built on the chassis, another one is built by us. One has got independent suspension and another one has got solid axles. There are two different features. One is the minor resistant ambush vehicle and another one is the just basically a security armored personal carrier. Alligator is the next generation of Waran. 
And actually we're doing Varan 2, speaking of, we didn't make it for exhibition, we're converting Varan 2 to amphibia. And the replacement of Varan is the alligator. So we improve visibility, we improve the comfort of the sitting inside, some protection and other things. Alligator is basically actually a tactical vehicle, okay? It's still transport 10 people inside, but its mission is more uh, for tactical side. So this is the vehicle which will go fight against the, you know, the terrorists and all that guys. What you see here is a very nice uh, vehicle which is uh, built on a very powerful engine, about uh, 300 horsepower. And uh, the vehicle is protected against almost uh, uh, most of the uh, armor-piercing bullets that, are, uh, that we evident in the uh, in, in theater. The vehicle has a 4x4 capability and uh, with no doubt the fact that it has also automatic transmission allows him to operate very safely and very comfortably also in different theater, not only on rough terrain but also in uh, cities and urban areas. The other thing which is also important about this vehicle is that with no problem at all we can adapt any type of system and subsystem into that particular vehicle including uh, remote control weapon station, observation system and other type of communication uh, system that allows us to monitor and to control our troops which is uh, uh, performing the mission together with us. This is the Precision Extended Range Mortar for the U.S. Marine Corps. This is one of newer programs in the precision munitions arena. Uh, the PERM uh, mortar is a GPS SASM guided mortar. Uh, over 16 kilometer capability range, double the range of a standard 120 millimeter mortar. Uh, and again, this is used with the exp expeditionary fighting system for the U.S. Marine Corps. Also available for international sales as well. So we are talking to many customers here at the trade show on that program. A lot of interest in this capability. Again, a completely new capability. Similar to Excalibur. You know, Excalibur is over almost a 50 kilometer guided artillery round. This provides double the range of uh, uh, guided mortars for a guided mortar in, the, in that system. Also capable of you being used for rifled and smoothbore mortars. So you know, this effectively, any 120 millimeter system could deploy this capability. We initially provided the Belgian Army with the battlefield surveillance radar. And since then we uh, develop and we are selling radar all over the world. Uh, our latest development is about the uh, ambush kit 500. It's a combination of a short-range radar and electro-optic. Uh, the purpose is uh, to detect pedestrian at short range, let's say 500 meter, and vehicle at one kilometer. We uh, combine it with a short camera uh, in order to uh, identify the targets. FZ for the Bruges is uh, a company specialized in a rocket system, 70 millimeters or 2.75 inches. And we have uh, our advantage is that we have a complete uh, portfolio in this term. This means that we have the ammunition, the rocket launchers, and also the firing control system. And not uh, to forget about the technical assistance and all the service we can provide to our customers. you see over here is our new project. Uh, we are basically retrofitting old vehicles yeah, and giving them modern capabilities on a very low cost basis. What you see over here is a commander, a commander site, basically, a low cost commander site, fully stabilized, which is affordable to put on any kind of vehicle. Yes, and it is not in the price range of the, the very modern and the very high range uh, main battle tanks, but it has the same performance approximately. We manufacture uh, reusable uh, tanks 
for f uh, fuel logistics for the defense uh, and armies. So we make static storage fuel tanks uh, to deploy on the field for the armies. Um, we make uh, transportable tanks uh, that can be heli transported, dropped, towed by a vehicle, um, which are used uh, also for external operations because they can be dropped by helicopter or from trucks to ground. We make uh, also other kinds of flexible fuel tanks to integrate into vehicles, so armor trucks, uh, boats, UAVs uh, that we can uh, make to measure. And uh, on these tanks we can also apply a self-sealing coating material uh, in case of bullet perforation.